God. I thought there was some sort of funny business going on with... When you first wake up and you're not fully awake and such, you, you can have some very strange notions. And then when you examine them, you're like, well, that doesn't make anything, that doesn't make sense at all. I've had that happen. I've had that happen a couple times already today. Hello, happy Sunday, America. Greater than America people world. And and on onward. Freaking onward. And onward. I'd like to say good morning. On this morning in the year two thousand and twenty fucking four, a man farted. It was eight oh three in the morning. He's asleep, but his alarm and his biological gases have symphonied and awoken him. My eyes popped open and I laugh, and then now I'm fully awake. But I was like, perfectly timed farts. Is that what we're doing today? <clears throat> I have the 803 alarm just set because, although that's not when I get up, it's, I would wait for the, uh, and I like to set a, an alarm for that. Just so I know, it's around eight, past eight o'clock ish. And I always get put the the numbers I use are weird, like eight oh three. It's weird. Just sort of put it in there. Now, the one that wakes me up is the same way. Of course, it's not ever woke me up, though. It's setting the alarm causes me to wake myself up before it ever does. So, I guess there's that. And... That's been going on for quite a while. I don't think I'm the only one that that happens to. I don't think it's uh, too strange of a thing, but it's like you seem to know you're going to have to have that button to press and your body's trying to bypass it by just, hey, wake up. If you wake up, just turn that thing off before it goes off. So you do that. I mean, you're already up now. So, but yeah, not one time has it woke me up. Not one fucking time. So, as you could see, people who, uh, really rely on the alarm mechanisms may be doing themselves a disservice. I'm just saying, you know, if they don't have their other shit in order and, it doesn't just take care of itself like that. Maybe you're doing something strangely wrong. I don't know. I don't know. I don't look. I don't know. I don't have a dog in the fight. I, I have a non-dog in the fight. Just looking at things. Always like to look. Put a nice fresh gaze over shit. I would really, really, really like to comb this shit the fuck out or brush the hell out of my head before but I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna be doing it that way I'm sorry sometimes you have a nice presentation of yourself 
when you uh, record, and then there's me, you know, and then there's me, um, and I have said that I really, really get something good out of making these videos because it starts my uh, soul to flow, like, yeah, I'm, I'm not thinking too much about what I'm saying and all that, but more of a, there's a better awareness area of the, the time, the filling it, sort of rolling around the presentation area with all that jazz. And I've never put too much thought into that either, but I have thought about it before though. Uh, I really have. And another, I had this um, heavy, heavy stress and uh, almost like if you were I, I want I kind of want to say vampire vampired because we had this we had this as a side effect this being vampired you know all your energy's gone you're just drained that was part of it with this lady and and you know we were explaining how she would come into the area and like you know talk 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 now I want to elaborate on that because I had already been using in a like meditation or something. I'm going to put this in the right spot. I would say, and still do this, and this is the way I like to think about it. You're coming up into a new land, like the Europeans that were coming to America or whatever the fuck on their boats. And Imagine, like, coming out of the fog is like a shoreline, and you're coming upon it. Those words that you speak out, think of like a, a cannon shooting onto the land, the cannonballs, like bombarding it. The words that you speak are energetically transforming the land that you're going to encounter to create a habitation space. And that's not that difficult. To think about then you can adjust them and the idea is to create an environment you can inhabit that is you know it has all those qualities that you need and you can inhabit it and move forward with that ship bring it along so I had often thought are people trying to fill areas with their words and not really thinking about it consciously and I kind of think maybe so but if your conscious mind begins to ponder what each of the words effect is in the area that it comes out. It's quite interesting. You know, I don't think, I don't, I'm not, the lady would just, because she would be talk, talk, she would talk, 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 talk. 
and a lot of times nobody's listening. Nobody hears what she's saying. So it's like, who are you talking to? What is the part, you know, on, in, at some point you're like, what is the point? It does do good for you to communicate and hear yourself if you're in an environment where you're the only one and there's some acoustics to play with at least just you know how the, the sound bounces around the place is always quite interesting especially for people that like to play music you're gonna fiddle with it at those types of things so it's not too far and um, in in her case, I don't think she's ever thought about it in that way. And I didn't break it to her or share it yet. And I thought because of the experience of how fast Disabled my ability to fucking. First off, it was like, if you're in there and you're doing something and you're not um, moving around, and then and then she comes over or would come over, I was thinking of it, was wondering, is this what it's like to be in a really haunted house? I know that sounds stupid, but it was like. A really very strange feeling. And when you don't really think about how your mind carries and uh, builds up things that you're needing to, you know, do things, uh, I was noticing the worst fucking thing of all was the fact that once I got anxious and it started to rattle me some, how difficult it was to put thoughts together and and move around with them. You know, it, and it was. It was very difficult. And I knew that I wasn't the only one experiencing that. But I began to notice and start to track it as uh, uh, the different strange odd effects. You know, when someone's just talking, talking, talking... <clears throat> while you're trying to write numbers and remember them and then tell the other person the number so they can go and, you know, use it and cut something. <clears throat> you see how they are affected. And, of course, she didn't. It took a lot for her to even notice. And like with some people, when you, you say, hey, shh, 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 hold on. I want to tell you something. I want to share, but I don't want you to get pissed off. I don't want to get fired. Okay. We have an understanding. I don't want to, look, it's not bad. Not that bad. But I need to tell you, I hold the fuck up. And when I tried to tell, I was like, I was like, do you see how stressed everybody gets? You can't tell how stressed everybody is. You can't see that. I was like, how can you not? I was like, this is it's it's horrible. This is horrible. This is difficult. And I think it's because it was coming from her. She had just blasted it far away. But if she could have got and looked with those eyes, I think she would have really discovered something new. I wasn't trying to be an asshole or nothing like that, but she really didn't. She never noticed her, you know, bombardment of like every little 
number that we were getting to use that we needed. And, you know, it, she didn't see that. I, and no, nothing they said ever knocked any of it off. I might have gotten some off. I was trying to say. And then when it got to where, I, you know, I wanted to be like, well, well, hold on. Have you ever been doing something and then someone out of the left field came to you and then asked you something very complex and then you forgot what the hell you were doing and you no longer had numbers that you needed? That's the thing with the numbers. They would they would be utterly destroyed. If you didn't have it wrote down, you're going to have to just turn back around and then go through it again. The person who was in there may have to fucking backtrack and they're going to be uh and pissed off. So are you. And this is all coming from the top. Moving around like a tornado in a little fucking room. Um uh, I'm a person who lives in a box, too. So I wonder about certain things. And, you know, there was no, there was not any, no judgment, nothing like that, you know. But when it's you and you're the one doing it, that's going to be the most difficult someone will have with accepting some sort of information. Because if it's them doing it, oh, no. Now, we sort of all understand that, you know, and that's sort of the basis of our interactions with one another. But when you really go to, to, to change something or try to communicate something, you're going to fucking come up against a fucking barrier that's like this. And that's exactly what the lady didn't couldn't receive that information or you know and she really couldn't and I draw and I let it go whatever whatever it's fine and what was mostly strange to me I thought was like this is a woman women are normally the people who understand the emotional components to to uh, the reality. And I that's what fucks me up more than anything else is the fact that no, no, this was not a component for her. And we all sort of laugh and joked and been like, ha ha ha, yeah, and this is why nobody can this is why she's single. Ha <laughs> ha. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's true. That was a fact. But there was more to it. But never got into that. I like, I like discovering shit about people. Um, I'm just interested in things like that. And I've been using the bombardment and the words for quite a while. Anytime there's like a, uh, a new season or something that's about to be entered into, I uh, think of it that way. And I've shared with younger people, like, like kids, those that are coming up. I use that illustrations for my example. And in that way, you can actually see how your words actually do become part of the space in the environment that you are in. And if they're not tuned or accordant with that environment, it's not going to help be helpful for people to communicate in that environment. And if you're continuing to talk while others need to speak to you, that's obvious. That's an obvious one. But, you know, things like that. They're very interesting and they do come into play. So, good morning. Have a nice day.